Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back once again, wonderful pupils of Practical Computer Comprehensive School. We are looking at another tutorial video and this is presented to you by your auntie, Miss Genevieve Onyekwere. And this time we are looking at our week 8 work on pre-vocational studies for you in basic 4. And our theme is what? Agricultural science. I repeat, agricultural science. And the topic we'll be discussing this week is what? Common pests and parasites of farm animals. I repeat, common pests and parasites of farm animals. First, let's look at our learning objectives to know our focus range. Learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. State the meaning of pests and parasites. 2. Mention groups of parasites. 3. Identify common pests and parasites of farm animals. So now let's go straight to what we have for this week on this subject and topic. Meaning of pests and parasites. Pests are insects or small organisms that cause irritation and damage to farm animals. Examples of pests are what? Ticks, lice, mites, fleas, flies, sessafly, and others. Now you can take a good look at this pest. This is laos. When there are many, we call them lice. This is nits. This is a bed bug. This is a house fly. This is a crumb. This is a tick. You can get it on the body of a dog. This is a flea. Body of a dog too and other animals. Cockroaches, even in your kitchen, you can get them. Mosquito. Dorillas. Stomisix. Pinworm. All these are what? Pests of what? Animals. They keep the animals uncomfortable by causing irritations and damages to their body. So now let's look at parasites. Parasites are also small animals or organisms that live and feed in or on the body of other animals. This pest serves as external parasites, while the ones inside are called internal parasites. They are those ones that stay in the body like worm. This pin worm is a typical example of internal parasite, like a cow. You can find a tip worm, a large tip worm, ring worm, all of them. You can find it in a cow. Jeez, that's why I hate cow meat. So back to our learning topic. Let's look at more on this topic. Groups of parasites. Yes, this is one of the objectives in your learning objective. And we have groups of parasites. They said parasites are divided into two. They are the endoparasites. Say it after me. Endoparasites. 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 When we say endoparasite, it's called internal parasite. Those ones that we can't see. We only feel their presence in our body. The examples are roundworm, hookworm, liver fluke, etc. And next is what exoparasites. Exoparasites are external parasites like those ticks, fleas, and stuff I showed you in the previous slide. And yes, I named the hair bugs, lice, sesame flies, and others. So now all these are exoparasites. They stay on the body of their host. That animal they are living in is called the host. It's called the word host. They eat out of those animals and when they are not properly treated or fed, the animals die due to the trouble of the word parasites.